Uh. Netflix Marvel shows have been confirmed to be hitting Disney Plus in some locations. Social media lit up like a Christmas tree upon hearing the news that Daredevil, Jessica Jones, The Punisher, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and The Defenders will be hitting the streaming platform in Canada this March. Oh, nice. After all these titles left Netflix, many fans wondered if they would make their way to the rest of the MCU content onto Disney's service. It looks like that may be the case now, according to Mobile Syrup, but fans in the United States will have to wait to see more for fans who have been waiting for this day since the shows went off the air years ago. It's a moment of celebration. Maybe it's an indication. Obviously, the whole rights thing, uh, the whole interworkings of deals, licensing, Marvel, Netflix, and so on. But this is the type of thing that many had. I mean, when Disney Plus started to hit the scene, Mm -hmm. it was easy to predict that it was a matter of time before MCU started showing up more so even than even the Netflix stuff Mm -hmm. on Disney Plus. It's almost like those gaming companies. uh, It's almost like Microsoft buying Activision. They're like, no, 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 no. Cross platform available everywhere. Next thing you know, the show, you know, they go exclusive. Well, this is a little bit different, I guess. The streaming, this is more obvious that that's what you would do, because Netflix probably wouldn't be interested in a model that had it had the rights split up and had it on different places. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. streaming platforms don't seem to share at all. Maybe, yeah, mo- maybe always exclusive. Maybe mm-hmm. some movies, but when it comes to the shows, it's here yeah. or nowhere, and you got to subscribe to all of them. It's like, geez, man. I wonder how much this deal was for all the shows. Well, I don't know that there needed... Because they funded it, too. I don't know that there needed to be a deal. I think it was probably always temporary licensing. Like, you can have these shows on a platform. Ownership maybe never belonged to Netflix. They would produce it under a licensing deal. Right. They would Because the, the, right. the IP never belonged to them. Mm-hmm. Right? Daredevil mm-hmm. or whatever. It never belonged to Netflix. So they would have had to cut some sort of deal that let them use those characters in those productions benefit and profit from those productions, but actually maybe never own the content. Mm -hmm. Much Mm -hmm. in the same way that Spotify's sitting there saying, we don't own Rogan's podcast. Yeah, we gave him 100 million, although the the more recent number is 200 million. Doesn't Mm -hmm. really matter. We gave him that money, but it's strictly a licensing deal, just so we could profit and benefit in the meantime over the longevity of our agreement. Right. So I think this this thing here was inevitable, and uh, it's immediately like you're going to snap your fingers and Disney Plus is going to just get all this content. Mm-hmm. And the streaming wars are quite hot. 